Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Adventures in Golf. They say every course has a story, and Circling Raven in northern Idaho is a perfect example. Owned and operated by the Coeur d'Alene tribe of Native Americans and situated on reservation land, this top 100 golf destination has a unique history. We came up here to talk to the tribe's people who are involved in every aspect of this magical place, but we also came here to play some golf. Somehow we have boarding passes and now we're going. This is insane. I have no idea what to expect. The adventure always begins on the tarmac. Four rounds of golf one day. 207 shots. Start your watch, off you go. Thank you. You wanna go first? Sure. sure. Why would you ever stop golfing? It's definitely an adventure. When thinking of the game of golf, you probably don't associate Native Americans too closely with this sport, if at all. Yet, in the last 20 years, there's been a large growth in the creation of some fantastic and even top-ranked golf courses by Native Americans. The most famous of which is Circling Raven Golf Club. It's in northern Idaho, and it's on the reservation of the Coeur d'Alene tribe. And that's where this adventure lands us. Opened in 2003, Circling Raven has been named one of the top 100 golf courses you can play by Golf Magazine for three years in a row. And I came to find out why. This is the, the Sistine Chapel painting right here. The mountains are the paintings on the walls. And this is the floor. And that's where they'd pray back in the old days is up there. As the cultural affairs director of the tribe, Quanah Matheson aims to keep the rich history of the tribe alive in every aspect of the resort. You know, the people that they, that came in to do the course, some of them really wanted to bring in a lot of dirt and kind of mold it to the way they wanted. But I think the person that got chosen chose the land itself. And so the land kind of becomes the course. Look at all the land we have to work with. Right. I scattered 18 holes over 620 acres. 620? Yep. Well, That's gave, six they, times bigger than they, average golf Yeah, course. They, they gave me 620 acres, so it weaves way out and then returns. Yeah. Uh, typically, this would be probably twice as far out as any normal golf course, yeah. just because no constraints. Just as important as choosing a course architect was choosing the course name. Circling Raven is actually my great-great-great-grandfather. State Representative Paul Ed Jordan, a living descendant of the course's namesake, describes what Circling Raven means to the Coeur d'Alene tribe. For us, applying Circling Raven, just the name in itself, is, is a, a way for us to just reignite the legacy of who he was as one of our greatest prophet, if not our greatest prophet. I think the resort has been a blessing. Chief Allen, the current chairman of the tribe, understands the importance of Circling Raven and Coeur d'Alene Resort. When I was growing up, wasn't that many jobs around here. When the resort opened, it provided jobs for the first time for people. So it's been huge for the Coeur d'Alene people. And everywhere I go, everybody says the Raven is uh, top notch. So we're, we're pretty proud of that. The biggest thing for me is golf is uh, not a Native American game. Well, Scottish. Scottish game. They're indigenous. We consider them tribal relatives. Across Do you? The, yeah. So in that sense, the culture of golf isn't that different from the Native American culture. No. After buffing up on the history behind the course, I could not wait to play. Today's foursome was with some golfing members of the tribe itself. What should I expect today? What do you think, Ernie? Any, any tips? Keep it in fairway. OK. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, wow. Pretty good. That'll be okay. Can we play for money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Whoa. Were you surprised when it became such a highly regarded golf course? I was. I was. At first, when we seen it, it was beautiful, but it was ours. And so there was that, that sense. But then after traveling around and, and then listening to people as they came in, you say, wow, it is, it is awesome. In my mind, it's one of the best courses in, in the nation. Woo! Hi. 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 
Nice. <laughs> we live on the land that our ancestors walked. When they created the reservation, they created part of our territory. We're in our homeland. It's just awesome to be walking in their moxie tracks. We're here to take care of everybody. We're here to take care of the land. We're here to take care of the animals, the environment that we have. I mean, that's what we were put here for. It's basically showing perseverance and resiliency of our people. So we're able to take something which is now an amenity and make it into a part of our culture. Well, we had an amazing round with Charlotte, Laura, and Ernie. The best thing about golf is you get to just meet people and get involved in their lives and learn about how they live. I had no idea the Native Americans had any connection to golf, let alone were responsible for creating such a mind-blowingly beautiful course. So that concludes another adventure in golf. See you next time.